Hello and welcome to my channel. I don't have a video of a drawing process for you today unfortunately but I just wanted to give you a quick update on some of my activities. So as you can see I've done another color pencil drawing of only fools and horses characters. Uh, from left to right we have Denzel, Uncle Albert, Boise, Grandad, Dellboy, Trigger and of course Rodney. And this guy here in the middle is my customer because this was a commissioned drawing and he wants to have his portrait uh, with these only fools and uh, horses characters. So I had quite a number of characters uh, in one place and I covered his face uh, with a piece of paper because I want him to remain anonymous. Uh, but anyway, uh, it was an interesting drawing and I had to do a lot of adaptations in terms of uh, composition and I, have to, and I had to do a good selection of reference photos. So I wanted to say a few words about these topics because I really like uh, when I have a free choice of reference photos when I'm doing a commission portrait. I like when a customer uh, gives me an option to choose a reference photo or they give me multiple reference photos that I can pick from and this is especially important when you're doing a large drawing like this where I'm try kind of trying to fit in all of these characters and for some of them I didn't really have high quality reference photos for example for Denzel and for Trigger as well but I kind of managed to uh, put something together now in terms, of, uh, in terms of composition, initially I thought that I was going to do this on um, regular A3 size drawing paper which is uh, about um, 12 times 17 inches in size. But then I realized that I won't be able to fit everything in. I would have to, uh, I would have to make it look like some of the characters are kind of uh, standing uh, behind the others and uh, that will be kind of difficult to explain in a vignette like this. So. Uh, I decided to draw them uh, ne next to one another and I needed a longer piece of paper so I took a larger piece of paper, reduced it in terms of height and I had enough uh, length uh, to squeeze all of the characters in. Uh, in terms of my tools I mostly used Faber-Castell polychromos colored pencils but in addition to them I also use Statler's and Kohinoor pastel pencils for some of the basic tones and things like that. So I like to use different uh, kinds or different types of pencils, but I think generally speaking, it's mostly it's mostly Faber-Castell polychromos that I use. Uh, in terms of which of these characters was the most challenging to draw, I'm not really sure. I think that Uncle Albert, for example, is not that difficult because one of the techniques that I use for the beard is it making indentations with a pointed stick. So once you do that and start going over it with color, it's not really that difficult. Uh, I think for some reason I always find Del Boy a little bit challenging to draw. I don't know why it is because of his facial features and whatnot, but uh, I always found his portraits a little bit more difficult than others. Uh, Trigger came out pretty well, I think, uh, because of his very peculiar looking eyes and uh, expression. So I didn't really have much trouble capturing likeness uh, when it comes to Trigger. One of the things that I'm not sure I really like about it, but I didn't really have a choice, was that um, these characters are taken, their reference photos are taken from different seasons, so maybe their age is different uh, in, in these different uh, reference photos. And like I said, this was my customer who commissioned the drawing. I'm not going to be showing his face but he was uh, satisfied with the way uh, it all came out and now hopefully uh, once uh, things get back to normal because of you know what I'll be able to ship it as soon as possible 
Anyway, uh, that was all I had for today. Uh, the next drawing is going to be done in charcoal and I'm going to be recording the full re uh, video process for that one and I'm going to be doing a narrated video. So uh, I'll see you then and thank you for watching. Bye for now.